everyone, this is Ina with Inichka Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today an episode, as I promised, to show you how to make mashed potato with miso paste. It's such a staple dish around holidays. Who wants to have table, turkey dinner, uh, and table without mashed potato, right? But on my kitchen, I always try to do something healthier. And in my definition, healthy, it's not to skip on fat in case this mashed potato is not skinny by any meaning and I encourage you to use good quality butter for that reason but key ingredients is miso and I will link below all, all in information about miso and why it's good for you and I'm using quite a bit in my recipes and currently I posted two more recipes and I will link below where I use miso and you'll be surprised on many ways you can use not only on Asian cooking. So today we're making traditional side dish which is popular around the uh, globe mashed potato with miso paste and I'm using white miso paste and it's very important to use white it's less strong and I will link below as always which kind I use in this product I use it for years and my mom always had to mash potato bay leaves so I do but it's totally optional and other ingredients it's good quality butter of course and miso that's a key ingredient which gives a lot of flavor probiotic and that umami flavor that something would you won't make you go for seconds it's delicious it's not only for Asian cooking. <laughs> Another ingredient is um, yolks. Make sure it's free range, good quality, not from supermarket where for several weeks eggs been laying on shelves. So make sure it's from good source. Also garlic and we're going to stick in milk just to give little flavor. You're not going to taste or chew on garlic or anything like that. It's just tiny bit little bit goes a long way and salt pepper if you have white pepper unfortunately I didn't have today so I'm using black pepper but white pepper would be ideal for this dish make sure meal comes to the boil and you turn off heat just before milk starts forming. Slowly, and let's sip for a few minutes. While our potato is boiling and milk is steeping with garlic, we'll, we'll work on our miso. So I'm going to add two, two teaspoons of miso paste to two egg yolks and mix, mix together. Ready. I'm adding our milk. Milk soak up all garlic flavor. Now we're adding butter room temperature. A few pieces at a time. Look how beautiful and silky this potato and you cannot room potato by adding extra butter. Make sure it's good grass fat butter and it's good quality. Last piece in and if you think it's a lot of butter, it's not. Every French restaurant serves up to 30% butter um, in their mashed potato. So it's not a lot, even it seems like, but it's so delicious. Now. After we mash it and looks perfect enough, looks beautiful. The heat is off. We need to let it cool down a little bit for five minutes at least before we add the last ingredient. While well, we've been waiting on potato to a little bit cool down, and the reason why because we don't want to end up with scrambled eggs, right? <laughs> we're adding raw egg yolk, so we would like to add to warm potato and not extremely hot so whisk and this two egg yolks will make big difference you will see 
from this white beautiful glossy will slightly yellowish it looks even better <laughs> and make sure don't use any mixer or anything except your classic regular mashed potato <laughs> smasher that works the best and as you see the consistency is beautiful it's like whipped potato yep. even I didn't give a lot of salt but miso is very salty so make sure don't go overboard with salt it's better to add later a little bit of black pepper I like And there's a lot of things you need to garnish, right? I like pretty food. It's beautiful. And here you go. Beautiful, glossy, rich, delicious mashed potato with probiotic. I hope you will make this recipe soon. And please, if you do, give me a like and subscribe. Share my recipe. As always, let's check what I'm going to make next time. Thanks for watching and bye, see you next time.